हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक मल्टी टीयर क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम फर्स्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज मल्टी टीयर क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम इट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ग्रोइंग टू और मोर देन टू क्रॉप ऑफ डिफरेंट हाइट साइमल्टेनियसली एट द सेम टाइम ऑन द सेम पीस ऑफ लैंड एंड बायूटिलाइजिंग लैंड वाटर एंड स्पेस मोर इफिशियंटली एंड इकोनॉमिकली एज नेम इज कन्फर्म मल्टी टीयर देर आर कम्बिनेशन ऑफ क्रॉप हैविंग वेरियस हाइट्स डिफरेंट रूटिंग पैटर्न ग्रोथ पैटर्न इल्डिंग पैटर्न मल्टी टीयर क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम इज मोस्टली प्रैक्टिस इन ऑर्चर्ड्स एंड प्लांटेशन क्रॉप फॉर मैक्सिमम इफिशियंट यूज ऑफ सोलर एनर्जी इवन अंडर हाई प्लांटिंग डेंसिटी This system is also called multi-layer farming or multi-storey farming system. In multi-layer or multi-tier farming system, there is system of growing and cultivating compatible plants. Multi-storey farming integrates different storeys or layers or different height of crops, which can include soil, pasture crops, livestock, and trees on the same land unit. and this system creates a diverse system with a range of production opportunities over the short term medium term and long term by combination of different nature of crops multi tier cropping system is type of intercropping in which various crops are grown simultaneously with having the special arrangement it is the practice of several crops of varying heights varying rooting pattern growth duration yielding patterns which are cultivated together the objective of this multi layer system or multi tier system of cropping is to utilize vertical space more effectively by a specific arrangement of the crops in multi layer system the tallest components have foliage of a strong light and high evaporative demand the shorter components shorter plants are having the foliage which requires shade and high humidity and the natural resources like sunlight nutrient land water and space are utilized in the most efficient and economic way by the arrangement of crops there will be increased biological diversity and higher production stability because of combination of various crops having different outputs and there will be improvement in soil health and physical property of the soil basic principles of multi tier farming there will be opportunities for crop diversification on scientific ecological and economic principle basis because of adoption of crops having the different heights different tiers different root patterns growth durations and having the different output patterns there will be maximize system productivity because of combination of various crops utilization of resources with higher efficiency and there will be intensive input usage because whatever the resources are available these are used for all crop combinations and there will be sustainability of farm resources and environment on a long term perspective so this system mostly comprises on over a story of trees or shrubs which are having the tall nature and under a story of economic or forage crops which needs shades tree to tree distance can be wide enough to let sufficient light through to under a story crops which are grown on bottom lines and which prefer the shades here we have shown the examples of multi tiered cropping there are various combination of crops which are generally preferred and best suited like okra plus radish plus cluster bean and beetroot is one of the combination okra plus radish plus beetroot with coriander point art plus elephant foot yam plus cucumber is grown banana with cauliflower and beetroot guava plus turmeric plus elephant foot yam elephant foot yam plus okra with rich gourd potato sweet corn and okra and papaya and banana cultivation practices with elephant foot yam and ginger and colocasia 
and sugar cane is grown along with okra and onion and other crops like mango plus guava plus cowpea coconut is grown with black pepper plus cocoa plus pineapple cultivation coconut with jackfruit and coffee papaya and pineapple then coconut plus papaya and pineapple is one of the good combination while multi tier cropping coconut plus coffee plus papaya and pineapple and coconut based other multi tier system is growing with coffee and black pepper coconut is also better grown with banana and coffee coconut plus banana plus black pepper coconut grown with pepper pineapple and grasses cotton is grown with radish plus cluster beans and beetroot crop then second cotton with radish beetroot and coriander so these are the various combinations along with coconut cotton banana based and papaya and sugarcane other examples with arecnut base is arecnut is grown with turmeric crop arecnut plus black pepper plus turmeric arecnut is grown with banana and turmeric crops then arecnut is grown with cowpea tomato chili spinach banana okra and ginger and arecnut is also successful with chili and coriander now to study steps to implement a multi storage agroforestry system there are various steps we have to follow like first one plant nurse trees fast growing nitrogen fixing trees can be planted first to improve site conditions nurse trees are valued for shade and soil enrichment throughout the life of the crop these nurse trees species should have characteristics of they should cast a light shade or can be pruned to adjust shade they should have characteristics of nitrogen fixing they can produce timber fodder and other useful products they should have sun loving exposed to sunlight and having high evaporative demand and these trees should have adapted to local climate and soil conditions and having fast growing nature second step intercrop annual crops choose an intercrop each planting season that is adapted to current sun or shade conditions third one is plant shade tolerant trees after one year or when the nurse trees provide enough shade we have to plant shade tolerant trees plant them 3 to 4 meter apart or at the recommended spacing for the tree crops and plant them 1 to 2 meter away from the nurse trees for the step is fertilizer application fertilizer management pruning of the trees and weed control as for the other crops fifth one is prune nurse trees when nurse trees provide too much shade we have to go for pruning cutting branches and use the leaves as mulching sixth one is thinning of trees watch for adjacent trees with canopies starting to grow into each other also watch out for sun sun loving trees to make a space for healthy or higher value trees be careful not to damage other trees when cutting the remaining trees will grow faster seventh step in reach with other crops we have to plant seed tolerant crops for food and cash income advantages of multi storied cropping system as in multi storied cropping system there is combination of various crops having different heights different rooting patterns different nutrient uptake criteria yielding potential so there is better use of growth resources including soil sunlight nutrient and water and the natural resources are utilized accurately there is chances of improvement of soil characteristics and addition of organic matter to the soil because of decomposition of plant material there will be high productivity potentiality and profitability because of combination of different nature of crops there will be enhanced input use efficiency yield stability will be there because of suppression of the growth of weeds 
and we are following the sustainability principles by adopting various combination of crops there will be ecological stability improved soil health and agro system flow of income will be continued during cropping periods because there are various crops having different growth durations different type of yielding potential so income will continue on cyclic basis there will be distribution of labor work and employment opportunity to farm family because of continue running of the works on the farm it prevent water evaporation from the soil and is an effect 70% of water is saved because there is seed conditions during the cultivation this system minimizes the risk of crop yield loss and this system enables a steady supply of farm products the whole rounds the year it reduces the impact of hazards such as high intensity rainfall soil erosion and other natural disasters as landslides physical support of one crop to another is prevalent and it reduces the some pest and disease incidence now disadvantages of multi storied cropping as there are many more advantages some disadvantages also about which we will study here like first one labor intensive as in multi storied cropping there is combination of various crops having different natures so each crop is having the different rent requirement so we have to go for labor intensive job work for the management of the crops the chemical control of weeds pests and diseases may be difficult because maybe all crops will be not compatible with the chemical used at the same time one crop may be suited to the chemical but another crop may not be useful so in such cases we have to go for alternates for the control of the diseases pest or weeds in different means the difficulty in mechanization because we cannot use the machines everywhere for the same crops because different crops is having different requirement so we have to go for a specific requirements adverse competitive effect or by allelopathy because there will be competition so maybe one crop may suppress the growth of other crop and there may be allelopathy impact also where the root exudates the chemical secreted by the roots of one crop may impact the growth and and this performance of other crop so these are the some disadvantage which can be found in multi storied system constraints in multi tier system in case of multi tier system there is combination of various trees shrubs and forage and economic crops which are depending upon the availability of resources so the resources will play important role for the response and productivity system there are some constraints which are impacting the performance and output in multi tier system like drought conditions if there is drought and no proper irrigation facilities it will impact the growth habits its duration and yielding potential if there is lack of funds it will result in improper management which will cause the impact on productivity lack of technical knowledge about cropping system because in multi tier system there is combination of various crops having the various requirement and its management so technical knowledge is important there should be timely ability of inputs otherwise we can't get the desired result of cropping system we have to manage the pest and diseases effectively because there is the combination and involvement of various crops having the different pest and disease management practices lack of irrigation facilities if the irrigation or water supply is not met timely there will be impact on yielding potential of the crops and lack of labor availability in a multi tier system there is intensive labor requirement because different crops are having the different intensive labor requirement practices and it should be met timely otherwise it will cause the negative impact on yielding potential and productivity of the system plant and crop selection 
Careful species selection is important in multi-storage cropping system. They should not be competitive and the, there should be beneficial impact of one crop to other. Seed tolerant plants and crops are essential in multi-tier system. The combination of crops with different production cycles should be synchronized to facilitate and uninterrupted supply of food. Because we are combining the different type of trees, crops, so the yield output should be continued throughout the season and there should be no interruption in between. Depending on the climate and other environmental factors, there may be peak or lag season for harvesting, but in general, there need to be consumable products year around. So we have to select such products, such crop plants which are giving the output on cyclic basis. The most production is for home consumption. The marketable surplus can be a safeguard against crop failure. Risk mitigation is one of the criteria, criteria of multi-tier system. So in some adverse situation, there should be safeguard to the farmer because of cultivation of multi-tier system. A relatively a small amount of time is required to maintain the system because the same time we are growing different type of crops. So we have to go for management of the crops in a given time period. So this presentation was all about multi-tier cropping system. Hope this will be useful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given you my YouTube channel details journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback. Thank you.